Hi, my name is Craig Lowell, Product Marketing Manager at Lumen, and today I'll be demonstrating one of our multi-CDN switching solutions for video streaming, Lumen CDN Orchestrator. CDN Orchestrator is a multi-CDN switching tool that uses feedback from the device to two CDNs on a segment-by-segment -segment basis during the video session. It allows for midstream switching in the case of CDN failure or a drop in bandwidth without the user having to refresh the page. The solution is implemented into a broadcaster's video player or mobile application via SDK and is transparent to the end user. This demonstration is meant to illustrate how the CDN orchestrator switching mechanism works during a video session. Now, there's a lot of information on this screen, so let's break it down. On the left-hand side, we have what we're going to call a traditional CDN switcher. This switcher is going to behave like a back-end multi-CDN switcher. And by that, I mean that an API returns scores for a CDN based on the quality or business inputs of the customer's choice. And the multi-CDN tool identifies the most appropriate CDN from the server side at the start of the session. Bear in mind that once the CDN is chosen with this switcher, the player will stay on that CDN for the entire session. The CDN scores you see in the middle are returned by the multi-CDN API. They are on a 1 to 100 scale and are obtained by weighting the different metrics that you may want to use. These can be performance metrics such as bandwidth and error rates, commit-based rules, geography-based rules, or any other rules that you set up. Finally, the player on the right is using Lumen CDN Orchestrator. As with the other player, it will also start the session with the highest scoring CDN from the CDN score provider. For the purpose of this demo, we'll assume that the video platform is using three CDNs, which are identified by color and number. Right below both of these video players, you see a representation of the video segments that are in the video player's media buffer. These segments are color-coded to show which segments were retrieved from which CDN. For example, here they are sky blue, meaning these segments were fetched using CDN1. On the bottom left, we have a panel where I can simulate CDN errors. I can force one of the CDNs to start returning errors on every segment to simulate a point of presence that has gone down. Or I can force a CDN bandwidth to drop to simulate congestion or other performance issues. Finally, on the bottom right, I have a representation of the scores that CDN Orchestrator is computing during the video session. These CDN scores will start with the value from the CDN score provider above and will be updated after each segment download based on what the player sees in terms of performance from each CDN, bandwidth, latency, and errors. So let's start a new video session. You see that CDN1 has the highest initial score, so both players will start streaming the video from CDN1, as you can see from the segments filling the buffer. The first scenario I want to run is a bandwidth drop. I will simulate congestion on the network and drop CDN1 bandwidth. You can see that CDN Orchestrator notices the bandwidth drop and switches to the second highest scoring CDN, which is CDN2. The traditional CDN switcher, meanwhile, is still streaming from CDN1, as it does not have the ability to switch CDNs midstream. And you can probably guess what's going to happen when the buffer empties. And there it is. The player not using CDN Orchestrator selects a lower quality track to prevent rebuffering. So let's restart the demo and run a second scenario. This time, we want to simulate a CDN pop going down by forcing all requests to this CDN to return errors. Let's imagine that for some reason, this CDN1 pop is having issues. We can see that CDN Orchestrator instantly notices these errors and switches to the new highest scoring CDN, which in this case is CDN2. If you pay close attention to the player using CDN Orchestrator, we do see here a short downtick in quality. This is a common behavior that's due to the player's ABR logic. As the information that the player had on CDN2's bandwidth was incomplete, it fetched the first segment in a lower quality to make sure we would not be at risk of rebuffering. And once the player had measured CDN2 bandwidth through the segment download, it can safely resume playing the higher quality track. You'll notice that the CDN switch was done seamlessly without having to refresh the page. And you probably already noticed, but here, the player using a traditional CDN switcher is frozen. This is another advantage of CDN Orchestrator. 
If your primary CDN goes down without a midstream switching tool, there's a good chance that a large number of users will instinctively try to refresh their page at the same time. This can have a cascading effect on other services and APIs used when the page is loaded, your CMS or DRM, for example, which causes unnecessary stress to your platform. CDN Orchestrator thereby dampens the effect of a CDN failure in two ways. Against a service outage of a CDN that is down, any subsequent issues caused by a massive wave of page refreshes. To go a little bit further, let's look at what happens if CDN2 starts returning errors. Again, CDN Orchestrator notices and switches to the last available CDN, which is CDN3 in this case, and we should see the same behavior. Now let's have a look at the activity summary section of one of our current customers. Our product comes with an analytics dashboard from which you can monitor how CDN Orchestrator behaves in production. This page provides insights into the algorithmic decisions made by Orchestrator, as well as the aggregated performance of the various CDNs in the stack. The traffic graph on top shows us the volume of video data delivered by each CDN. We can see that one of the CDNs has stopped delivering traffic entirely, which is typically what you would see if one of your CDNs goes down. You can confirm this by looking at the performance graphs. We see indeed that the error rate for this CDN increased suddenly, and that the average speed of delivery per user has dropped to a very low value. CDN Orchestrator detected these problems while users were watching content and seamlessly switched the CDN effectively redirecting all traffic to the next CDN in the stack. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of our device-side multi-CDN switching tool. If you're interested in having midstream switching capabilities on your video platform, don't hesitate to contact us about Lumen CDN Orchestrator by reaching out to content-delivery at lumen.com.